Using QMetry Test Management for JIRA, you can pick stories that should undergo the testing process and then create test runs. The efficient organization of test runs in QMetry Test Management for JIRA reduces your efforts for maintaining them. Let us explore how to create a test run now. First, let us go to the QMetry tab and click on Create Test Run. We can name the test run now. I'm going to call it Fly High Test Run and then click on the checkbox. You can select your project here using this filter. Now we can select stories that we want to include in our test run. First, let us change the issue type filter to story. Then let us search as a flyer, I should, and hit enter. I see two stories that I want included in this test run. We can include stories in two ways. One is to click on the checkbox here and click on include selected in test run. The other option is to drag the appropriate story to the right side to include them in the test run. Now both my stories are included in the test run. If you want to add a test scenario or a test case a la carte, we can do this by going to the select using and clicking on all test cases. This will show all the individual test cases and test scenarios. From here, we can use the issue type filter to filter by test case or test scenario. Then, individual test cases and scenarios can be added to the test run as needed in the same way that stories were added. A quick note is, we can search by either summary or issue key in this search box. There's also an unassociated test case option in the select using filter, which will display only test cases that are unassociated with the story. These filters here can be further used to refine which issues we see in the left-hand box. The last thing we need to do is define which platform this test run is going to run on. As you can see here, the default platform is being used. If you want to add a new platform, you can click on the Add Platform, type in the name of the platform here, and click Add. A quick note is, you need project admin permission in order to add a new platform. Finally, we click Create and Run to create the test run. On this page, we can see details and the progress of the test run. Here, we can see different stories, the test cases inside the stories, and the test steps inside the test case. The columns here show data, expected result, and a third column to enter the actual result of the execution of that step. The next columns show the run st status, who the issue is assigned to, and then has space to write a comment or attach a file to the issue. A bug can also be created from the screen. Let's say we want to add a bug to the click on search flight button. We could scroll over here, click on the bug icon, and here we can either create a new bug or search for an existing bug. If I want to search for a bug that says no flights returned when the search button is clicked, we can search it, click on the bug, and hit close in order to link that bug with this issue. Finally, you can see the issue key and the updated by information all from this screen. At the top of the screen, we can see these circles here. These show the execution statuses of test cases in terms of a percentage. Clicking on the statistics button shows further statistics about the execution of test cases and scenarios. We can click on these tabs here to filter by test case or scenario. Clicking this button will close the information panel. Now let us discuss options on the top bar here. 
clicking the bulk update button will make these checkboxes all the way on the left available. Then we can go and check whichever projects we want, pick a run status, and then filter by which issue type we want this result to be updated for, and then hit bulk update. This will update all of these issues all at once. In the More option, the Browse issue will take you to the JIRA issue page where you can browse your current JIRA issues. Clicking Rearrange Columns will open up a window in which you can add or remove columns by dragging. You can also rearrange the position of these columns by dragging. The Rebuild Test Run option is a very useful feature. When a test run is created, we maintain a snapshot of stories and test assets added to it. That means that your test run will remain intact even if you add or remove anything from your story or test case. Now if you want those updates to show up in your test run, you can get that using the Rebuild Test Run feature. The Edit Test Run button lets you change the name of the test run and add any comments at the test run level. Finally, we can click on Assign Tester. When you click on Assign Tester, you can use these checkboxes here to select which stories and test cases you want assigned. Then in this text box, you can type in the name of the tester and click on the name on the drop down. And that will change this Assign To tab to reflect the new tester. The Export button lets you download the test run as an Excel document. These filters here let you sort your test run by these visible filters. Checking the box here lets you filter issues by ones that only have bugs, as can be seen here. Finally, Looking near the name here will tell you if this test run is being executed manually or not. Now, let us go to the JIRA issue page for a test run. At the top, we can see a clone test run button. Clicking this button brings us to this page, and here we can see different ways that we can clone a test run. We can enter a name, Choose a platform, select run statuses, click clone test run with test class cases having statuses, which will let you pick which statuses you want to clone, and defect association. If you scroll down, we can see the issues and test run panel. This panel shows you what issues are currently included in the test run. The Modify Test Run Scope button lets us change which issues are included in the test run by letting you add new stories and test cases to a test run. A side note is seeing what the test execution panel looks like in the story page. I am in the As a Flyer, I should be able to search flights story, which was in my Fly High test run. In the Test Execution panel, we can see the Execution Results Summary. Clicking on the plus here will show you underlying test cases and the status of those test cases.